Today is Black Eyed Pea Hummus. Here are my ingredients. Let's get started. Yay! Hey, 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 guys. Today I'm going to make some Black Eyed Peas Hummus. I really love this recipe. I used to make it um, when I was in the DMV area and everyone always liked it. I didn't make it a lot, I just made it a few times and it was um, a big hit. So here are some of my ingredients that I'll be using today. I have a lemon, lime, um, minced garlic, some apple cider vinegar, some tahini here, if you can see that, and the main ingredient, the show, the star of the show, black eyed peas. I'm gonna drain those and rinse those. And you guys know my base seasonings that I use on everything. Um, salt, black pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic, onion powder, and today I'm adding some smoked paprika and also some um, ground cumin to this recipe. And I have some green onions and then I'll probably eat it with some cucumbers and some, I have some tortilla chips over here. And I know you see this salsa, I'll probably just, you know, top it off with some salsa just to get some added um, different little stuff I like to do, a little spice. So I have my food processor right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and start draining the black eyed peas and I'll come back and show you guys um, when I put it in my food processor, all right? Okay, here I'm putting some minced garlic and my different seasonings like sea salt, ground cumin, paprika, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And I'll put some uh, apple cider vinegar in here, uh, lemon, lime, I put that in there. And you just kind of end up with olive oil in there, yes, and some water in there. Okay, I had to open this back up because I forgot the, um, forgot to put some tahini in there. You can see that tahini. So I just opened it back up, put some tahini, and I'm gonna mix it back up. locked. I like this little part right here. You just don't have to worry about your um, your food getting all over the food processor. You just do that. Anyway. Here's the final product. You see the black eyed peas hummus and they look really good. I put some paprika on top, some Italian seasoning and some green onions to garnish. And I have some um, English cucumbers and corn tortillas and peppers to dip it with. And over here, just some little oysters. This is like a little, this would be a good little snack to tie you over and also if you wanna make um, a sandwich with it, I found these nice little smart card pockets, um, little, like, like little pita bread, and you can stuff it and put your cucumbers, and if you just wanna do, um, you know, vegetarian, just put your hummus in there, your cucumbers and peppers, and maybe some alfalfa sprouts, and um, just, um, yeah, have this as a um, as a um, a sandwich. So I'm gonna try this and let you guys know how it tastes. And also, I'm gonna try it, put a little salsa on it. So let me try it. Okay. Really good, y'all. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I 
took this out the can, rinsed the can. Some people cook it, but I, you know, they're already cooked most of them in a can. But I put the rest of it in the refrigerator, so it's gonna really be really taste really really good. Even better tomorrow when it's cold and all the everything has settled. So mm, yeah, this is really good. You just want to keep it vegan. You just use a um, cucumber or the bell peppers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is so good. Mm. I'm gonna try it with the um, with the salsa. I'm gonna dip it. These are just some corn tortillas. You can get them in the white or the black. I think they consider these black or blue. Try with the salsa. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh wow. I saw somebody else top it, top the whole thing with salsa. I'm gonna put some on top. It looked good, but I didn't know how it was gonna taste. So this is the black eyed peas hummus. You see the oil in there? It's not dry and it's still warm, you know, like lukewarm. I put the rest of it in the refrigerator so it's gonna be even better. So please try this. Um, this is really good. I'll probably do it again if you guys want me to where I can slow it down and show you each little step. But I did it kind of like in a time lapse. so. I can quickly do it. it. It doesn't take this long to do this. You saw me put the food in the pro in the peas in the processor and just basically just put all the season in there. You know, um, you know, pulsed it out and it was pretty much done. I just put the garnishing. I put some um, some olive oil, Italian seasoning, and some um, um, garnish it with some green onions. And you can always taste to see if you need to add any more like salt or something like that. So. Yeah, you need to try this, guys. It's really, really good. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. Enjoy and let me know if you try this recipe at home.